This video is brought to you by Lunacy Audio. Stick around to the end to hear about my thoughts on their stuff. This is Botanica. A genre of music that is intimate, beautiful, and organic sounding. It's been getting pretty popular recently, and I think it's for good reasons too. Ever since I listened to this type of music, I've always wanted to create a full and meaningful Botanica song just because of how pretty it seems. It also seems like the perfect genre to use to write a very special type of song. You see, there's a special person in my life right now that I can't stop thinking about. Yes, laugh as much as you want, I am in love, and I won't get too much into the details because y'all shouldn't be knowing about my personal life anyways. The main problem is that I'm way too scared to ask her out at this time, but that's why I think putting all my feelings into a soft and intimate song is the perfect way I can kind of indirectly confess to her when the time is right. I also think that Botanica is a great choice for this occasion, especially since it sounds so pretty and affectionate, which will hopefully help express my feelings to her better. I was originally prepared to put this off and do this some other time, but then something special happened. This is Cube, one of Lunacy Audio's VSC plugins. It's a three-dimensional sample morphing instrument that gives you an incredible variety of sounds including pads, atmospheres, and textures. You can imagine that it works similar to any existing two-dimensional crossfading morph effects, except instead of using two sound sources and four different samples, it can morph between eight separate samples that you can handpick and fine-tune with effects. I know all that might sound a bit confusing, but I promise you'll get to see what I mean. I bring this up because Fritz, a pretty well-known artist in the Botanica scene, has actually recently worked with Lunacy Audio and other artists to help design and bring us a completely new extension sound pack called Botanica, which thankfully saves me a lot of time and effort on designing Botanica sounds for this song. So in this video, I'll be trying to create a song that hopefully matches the intimate and beautiful style of Botanica for someone that I really like using the help of Cube and the Botanica sound pack. But I can't just go into this blind. I need to make sure my song is actually good enough to impress her when the timing is right, so I need to make a plan. The first thing I wanted to do was to set a time limit and deadline for myself. This was mostly because I had way too many other things I had to do in life, so I needed to get this done quickly to avoid becoming overwhelmed. Luckily, I realized that an event called All Nighter was actually happening in the same week I was working on this video. If you don't know, All Nighter is a charity event organized by Form, where participants have 24 hours to make a full song, and by the end of the 24 hours, only a handful of pieces are selected to be part of an album where all the streaming proceeds go to a charity. This seemed like a perfect opportunity to try and accomplish two things at once, so I decided to make the song as a submission for the charity event as well. And after a bit of thinking and planning about the structure of how the song would kind of sound like, things seem to be looking pretty good. I would make the song within 24 hours, finish this video in about a week, and finally show her the song and see her reaction. I was actually feeling really excited to make this song now. But then, as cliche as it sounds, everything actually went wrong. On the day of the event, I was actually able to fully focus and finish the instrumental within 11 hours, which was actually really good progress, only made possible because I had a really good helpful tool by my side. The deadline for my time zone was 10am the next day, so I thought I could definitely wake up early to finish writing all the lyrics and record the vocals. That did not happen. But first, let's go over how I made the instrumental, because that's the only thing I seem to have done right that weekend. <laughs> After listening to a lot of Botanica songs and a lot of Porter Robinson, I decided on writing a 3-4 ballad type of song, obviously with a lot of sound design, textures, and other signature Botanica sounds. I started with a piano to lay down the chord progression and created the central musical motif that would literally repeat for the entire duration of the song. I then fully fleshed out the entire intro and first verse, including all the Botanica instruments and textures within the first two hours. If you want to know the details of how I do it, check out my video explaining my process. One thing that really expedited my production process was the plugin Cube by Lunacy Audio. As I've described earlier, Cube is a sample based instrument that works in a very interesting way. As you can see, we have, well, the cube, where each vertex is a different sample you can load in. The ball in the center pretty much determines how much of each of the eight samples are morphed together to create the final sound, and through a lot of movement and modulation, this actually gives pretty cool results. By using the presets in the new Botanica sound pack, I was able to immediately use these sounds pretty much straight out of the box as extra ambience and texture that drastically added depth and fullness in the least intrusive way possible. I didn't get a chance to play around with some of the other sound packs, but even with just the ambient sounds, I was able to drastically increase my efficiency in writing the song. I then made quick work of arranging the rest of the sections, did a lot of copy and pasting using my fully fleshed out sections, threw Cuban here and there, and ended up making something that I really liked. So if this went so smoothly, how did it all fall apart? 
I actually ended up having drinks with her and my friend later that night. I know this sounds like the start of every bad story, but it's probably not as bad as you think. This was my first time drinking recreationally with friends, so obviously I went overboard and got a bit drunk. I will admit, I said and did some pretty cringy stuff, but the thing I regretted doing the most is borderline admitting my feelings for her by saying a bunch of vague and cryptic things regarding my romantic interests. But my feelings aside, this drinking session ruined my plans in two big ways. Firstly, I remember she said something about waiting a few months after the new school year starts to settle down in her life before being ready to date again, and this threw my entire plan off course. I was planning to finish and show her the song very soon, so what should I do about it now? Fortunately and unfortunately, this was solved by my second problem. We obviously drank late into the night, and as a result, I only ended up sleeping for 4 hours and had a total of 2 hours in the morning to write all the lyrics and record the vocals. Under the immense time pressure, I was able to finish writing the lyrics, but the vocal performances were so bad I was sure there was no way I could use them or finish them. As you can imagine, I did not manage to finish the song on time, so instead of accomplishing two things at once, I failed to finish both tasks I set out to do. Which brings us to now. As much as I hate the outcome for how things turn out, I think this is ultimately better. Since I have to wait a few months to try anything anyways, I might as well spend that time reworking the lyrics and actually making the song as good as I possibly can. It'd also be a good opportunity for me to spend more time with her, to get closer to her and get to know her better. But at least I think the song I made was pretty nice, so while I keep working on the song until the time is right, for now, this is all I have completed. If you like how this sounded, you should thank Lunacy Audio for making this song possible in the first place. As I've said before, the plugin Cube provided me with such a crazy efficiency boost that I would definitely include Cube in my workflow in the future. To be completely honest, when Lunacy Audio reached out to me, they gave me complete creative freedom over what I could say when giving them a review. There's no scripts I'm being paid to read, and despite that, I genuinely think their plugin is phenomenal. The way I used Cube was for ambience and texture to fill up the space. Normally, if I wanted to do that, I would have to drag in one of the lush pads I made, which is created by spending a session reverb bring a ton of different instruments into a big wall of sound, bounce it into audio, find that it has too much presence and is too overbearing in the mix, and lower the volume and cut the frequencies until you can barely hear it. But while I was using Cube, I found that I was provided with a lot of interesting sounds I could use without having to spend so much time doing sound design. They all sound great out of the box in my opinion, and all you really need to do is a bit of volume mixing and low cuts to get it to fill up your track without being too imposing or intrusive. I didn't get much of a chance to try out some of their instruments or percussive sounding patches and packs, but based on what I have tried, I think the ambiences themselves are really worth it. So overall, I think if you want some nice sounding textural ambience for whatever project you're working on and you had the money to spend, I would definitely recommend Cube. I should also mention that if you are interested in Cube, there's a sale going on for the launch of their Britannica sound pack that lasts until August 25th. Huge thanks to Lunacy Audio for this opportunity. Huge thanks to Fritz for helping out on the Britannica sound pack that I use extensively. And as always, huge thanks to you guys. Thanks for watching.